Most Muslims have heard about the 99 names of Allah. But did you know, my dear Muslim friends, there are 23 names that Allah claims for himself that were first given to Jesus. Yes, 23 names that belong to Jesus, Allah stole from Jesus. My dear Muslim friends, this demonstrates that Islam and its most trusted sources agree with the New Testament that Jesus Christ is Lord. My dear Muslim friends, you might not believe this claim, but let me demonstrate to you that this claim is true. First, let's take a look at what the Quran and the Hadith say about these 99 names of Allah. Sahih Bukhari, Allah has 99 names, 100 minus 1, and whoever believes in their meanings and acts accordingly will enter paradise. The Quran says this about the 99 names of Allah. And all the most beautiful names belong to Allah. So call upon him by them and leave the company of those who belie or deny or utter impious speech against his names. They will be requited for what they used to do. Now let's look at what this uh, version of the Quran says. And to Allah alone belong all perfect attributes. So call on him by these attributes and leave alone those who deviate from the right way with respect to his attributes. They shall be requited for what they do. So in other words, the names of Allah and his attributes are tied together and mean the same thing. Now with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the names, 23 of the names, that belong to Jesus first then Allah came along and stole 600 years after Jesus was given these names. So here we see a name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, the one who shows mercy. Now this is in all of the surahs except for surah number one. And it says this in the Bible, Therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. So we see that this idea of Jesus being merciful, the one who shows mercy, was first given to him and not to Allah. So we see that Jesus is the merciful and faithful high priest to all that belong to him because he makes propitiation for their sins. So we see that Jesus was first the one who shows mercy, then Allah stole the name. Al Malik was given to Allah, the king who rules over all, and that can be found in Surah 59:23. But Jesus says was given this name, the lamb will overcome them because he is Lord of lords and king of the kings. So 600 years before Allah was called the King, Jesus was called the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. So these names given to Jesus show that he is God. And Allah stole these same names and transferred them to himself to prove his deity and his attributes. But they were first given to Jesus. al Qudus, the Holy One, that's in Surah 59. And that name was given to Jesus. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. This was, of course, his disciples telling Jesus, We believe and know that you are the Holy One. Now, this again, this name was given to Jesus before it was given to Allah. As Salam, the peace, Allah is known in Surah 5, 59-23. And Jesus, it says this about him in the Bible. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. This, from, this comes from Colossians chapter 3. Now this is saying that Jesus can rule in the hearts of all men. His peace has the ability to rule and reign in all the hearts of all mankind. Which again shows his, that he is, he is God. Only God could do this. And so this name, the peace, was given first to Christ 
then Allah took it. Al-Mumim, the one who can be trusted. This again comes from Surah 59, 23. But the Bible said this about Jesus long before Allah. Trust also in God. Trust also in me. So Jesus is the one who can be trusted just like you can trust God. Now, my dear Muslim friends, if it was sufficient to trust in God alone, why does Jesus say that you can trust in me the same way that you do God? Jesus is talking about trusting in him because he is equal with the Father. Al-Aziz, the mighty and powerful one, Surah 59, 23. And this name was given to Jesus 600 years before Allah. Christ, who is the head over every power and authority. So it was Jesus that was the mighty and powerful one over every human being long before Allah stole his name. al khalik the creator of all things in Surah 59. And it says this in Colossians chapter 1 about Jesus. By him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether they're thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things were created by him and for him, it goes on to say. So Jesus created everything. That includes Muhammad. That includes you, my dear Muslim friends. Jesus is the creator, and he was called the creator long before Allah. Al-Bari, one who brings all things into being. This is Surah 59. And it says this about Jesus in John chapter 1. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Jesus was the one who brought all things into being. Everything. So John chapter 1 gives this name to Jesus long before it was given to Allah. At Razik, the provider of daily food. This is uh, Surah 51. And this was given to Jesus in John chapter 6. I am the bread of life, Jesus says. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. Now, in context, Jesus had just fed the thousands by a miracle. So Jesus says, yes, I can feed you, but there's something greater going on here, that if you trust in me, I am the bread of life. You believe in me. That's what life is all about. Bread and water you need to sustain your physical life. I can give that to you as well, but greater than this, I am the one who gives you spiritual life and will sustain your spiritual life as well as your physical needs. So Jesus was given the title of the provider long before Allah. Al-Fatah, a name given to Allah in Surah 34, it means the one who opens all closed things. And it says this about Jesus in Revelation chapter 3. What he opens, no one can shut. I have placed before you an open that no one can shut. So Jesus is the one who opens and closes everything for me. He is the sovereign ruler of the universe. He is the one who opens all closed things. So Jesus was given this name long before Allah. al halam the meek and lowly one. This was given to Allah in Surah chapter 2, but Jesus was given the same name in Matthew chapter 11. Jesus says this, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will receive rest in your souls. My dear Muslim friends, this is for you. If you are weary and heavy laden of your sins and your works and trying to work your way to heaven and trying to earn your way to heaven through doing good works and you just don't have that peace, Jesus says, come to me. I am the lowly and meek one. I will give you the rest for your souls. Now, of course, Jesus was foretelling his uh, sacrifice on the cross for you, my dear Muslim friends, that if you would believe in that, trust your, put your trust in him and you will find rest for your souls because he was the meek and lowly one who became a man and died for your sins. Al-Ali, the high and lofty one. This was given to Allah in Surah 34. 
but it was given to Jesus 600 years before Allah in Philippians chapter 2. God exalted him to the highest place and gave him a name that is above every name. That includes the name of Allah, that includes the name of Muhammad. Jesus is the name above all names. He is the high and lofty one. This was given to Jesus way before Allah stole it from him. al Nukit, the one who imparts strength and power. This is Surah 4. But, this is, but the Bible says this about Jesus in 2 Thessalonians. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word. So Jesus is the one who imparts strength and power long before Allah stole that title from him. Al-Mujib, the one who answers prayer in Surah chapter 11. And Jesus said this in John chapter 14. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. My dear Muslim friends, Jesus said you could pray to him. And even in Islam, the only one you are to pray to is God himself. So Jesus is claiming to have the same attributes and the same nature as God because you can pray to him. He will hear your prayers and he will answer your prayers. He is the one who answers prayers. And this name was given to Jesus 600 years before Allah stole it. Al-Hakim, one who knows all things, the one who knows all things. In John chapter 16, now we know that you know all things. This, of, of course, is declaration by his apostles to him that we know that you are the one who knows all things. So once again, we see one of the names and attributes of Allah was given to Jesus long before Allah. Al-Haq, the true, the genuine one, Surah chapter 10. And Jesus says this in John chapter 14. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus is the truth. He is the true one. He is the genuine one. You can only come to God through Jesus Christ, my dear Muslims, because he is the one who sacrificed himself for you and rose from the dead. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the true one, the genuine one. Only by coming to him can you have salvation. al the immovable and unchanging one. This is Surah chapter 51. And this name was given to Jesus 600 years before Allah in Hebrews. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Jesus is the unchanging one. al High, the living one, in Surah chapter 2. This was given to Allah, but it was given to Jesus first. Jesus says this in Revelation chapter 1. Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. Jesus is the living one. He's saying here that, yes, I was crucified, I died, but now I have risen and ascended to my throne. Jesus is the living one, and this name was given to Jesus 600 years before Allah. al baith the one who raised the dead, the one who raises the dead. This is Sir chapter 22. In John chapter 11, it says this about Jesus. I am the resurrection, and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Jesus is the one who raises the dead. And this came 600 years before Allah stole this name from Jesus. al Mui, the giver of life. This is Allah in Surah chapter 30. But this name was given to Jesus first in John chapter 5. The Son gives life to whom he is pleased to give it. Jesus is the giver of life, both physical and spiritual. Al-Awal, the first, and Al-Akir, the last. This name was given to Allah in Surah chapter 57. Jesus says this, I am the first and the last, the beginning and the ending. So Jesus claimed these, this title for himself, this name for himself, this attribute for himself before it was given to Allah. 
Jesus has always been. He will always be. He has always existed. He is outside of creation, and He can come to His creation. Jesus is the great I Am, the first and the last. An Nur. This name was given to Allah in Surah chapter 24. An Nur, the light of heaven and earth. But Jesus, way before Allah, claimed this name for Himself in John chapter 18. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. And this name was given to Allah in Surah chapter 15, Al-Warith, the heir of all things. And the Bible says this about Jesus in Hebrews chapter 1. In these last days, God has spoken to us by His Son. Jesus is the final prophet. Jesus is the seal of all prophets, who he, who he appointed heir of all things. Jesus was given the name heir of all things some 600 years before Allah. So you see, my dear Muslim friends, the 99 names that were given to Allah in Islam say that, that those are his attributes. In other words, those names can only be given and belong to him because he is God. And in the Bible, those same names were given to Jesus first. Allah stole 23 of the names that were given to Jesus to distinguish him as God before Allah ever took them from Jesus. So we see, my dear Muslim friends, that even in your Islamic tradition, these names demonstrate that, the, that what the New Testament teaches about Jesus is true. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the one who would die on the cross for your sin and rise from the dead. He is God in the flesh. My dear Muslim friends, that is the gospel. So those names that were given to Jesus demonstrate the gospel, that He is God in the flesh, that He loves you, that He will give you eternal life if you've come to Him, if, if you trust in Him, if you give Him your loyalty, give Him... Your life, basically, you decide to follow Jesus today, you come into his kingdom, and all those names will become real to you for the first time. All those names that Allah stole from Jesus will finally become something real to you, something that you can truly understand in your spirit, because Jesus is the only way. He is the first. He is the last. He is the name above all names. That's Jesus Christ. My dear Muslim friends, Jesus loves you. He died for you. He rose again the third day. And as those names show that Jesus is God, because those names are also used by the Quran and the Hadith literature saying that Allah is God. So those names can only be used to God, and they're used on Jesus. Why? Jesus is God. It's that simple, my dear Muslim friends. He became a man. He died for your sins. He rose from the dead. And if you decide to trust in Him today, my dear Muslim friends, and leave Islam behind, leave Muhammad behind, the Hadith behind, the Quran behind, and put your trust in Him, you will never regret it. And always remember that Jesus is Lord and Islam is false.